Today I'm going to share with you 10 powerful Canva secrets that the pros are using to speed up their workflow. If you create content using Canva, then stay tuned as this video is for you. Let's get straight into it. Number one, magic shortcuts. Simply hit the backslash key to open what Canva calls the magic shortcut. Here you have access to a range of commonly used elements. One thing on this list I found useful is the logos shortcut. If you haven't uploaded a logo, it will prompt you to add one. You can then drag it onto your design. On to tip two, remove backgrounds in one click. This is a Canva Pro feature that I use extensively. If you run an e-commerce site or make social media graphics, this will be super useful. Firstly, select the image, then click edit image, and then click background remover. It will work its magic and automatically detect what needs to be removed. This feature works best with an object or person in the foreground, clearly distinguished from the background. If you don't have Canva Pro, check out the link in the description where you can sign up using my link and get a free trial. It's worth checking out. As always, if you find these tips useful, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel, Learn With Seb. I have plenty of useful tutorials for content creators and business owners. Three, brand kit. The brand kit is where you store your brand's logo, colors, and font for easy access. Now, in every design, you can quickly access your brand kit by clicking the color box within the editor. On the left, you'll see your brand kit with your colors for easy access. Then if you click on edit, you can access your brand logos, colors, and fonts. Once they are uploaded, you'll be able to access them from the tabs on the left hand side. So if I click on text, I have my brand fonts at the top here. The same with logos, scroll down to the logos tab and your uploaded logos will appear here and you can simply drag it onto your design. If you can't see the logos tab, click on more just underneath and then you can add the tab to the sidebar from here. Number four quick create this is a brand new feature quick create allows you to create designs for multiple formats at the same time from the home page click social media then click create here you'll be shown formats for the major social media platforms as well as an email header you can select one or multiple formats to create you just click these boxes then you just go through the rest of the wizard to add content to your designs and at the end Canva will show you the design in different formats. You can edit them individually from here or save them one by one. I'll quickly go through the editor now and add the main text and body text. Then you can add an image and logo. Now with step four you can choose a template. There are multiple categories here from fun and simple to modern or geometric. In step five, you can choose a style. Once you select a style, the design changes in real time. Here you can also see what the design looks like in the various formats. If you are happy with it, click finish, then you can see your collection or download it. If you click see collection, it will save each design separately for you to edit. Now you can customize each one individually or download it. Five, keep organized with folders. You can add photos or elements to folders for quick access. Just click the three dots in the top right hand corner of an element and then click add to folder. Now you can create a folder or add it to an existing one. What I'll do now is create a new folder and call it elements then i'll click add to new folder now to see your folders tab in your sidebar click on more and then click the folders button here once selected all your folders will appear here this is useful if you have multiple brands that you are trying to manage you can find and edit folders from the canva homepage. Then click your projects in the left hand side. All your folders will appear at the bottom here, including the new one I just created. By clicking the three dots, you can rename, move or delete folders. Now, if you don't want to create folders and just want to save elements, you can do that with my next tip. 
and that is to save elements for quick access. If you have some favorite elements that you always use, you don't need to have them in a folder. You can use the star feature to save them. This is quick and easy. Once they are starred, they will appear in the starred tab on the left hand side here and you can easily remove them. Tip seven, duplicate elements. Alt and drag, or if you're on a Mac, option and drag, and this will allow you to quickly duplicate elements. This is useful if you are copying layout elements or text boxes around the page. The good thing about this way of copying is that it also gives you grid lines, so you can evenly space out the elements or line them up perfectly. Eight. Duplicate pages to A-B test designs. Sometimes you might want to make variations of your main design to see which one looks better. You can do this by duplicating the page with this button. You make the changes and then by clicking the grid view at the bottom, you can see your designs side by side. I use this a lot to test out different thumbnails for my YouTube videos. I'll make a bunch of them and then use grid view to see which one stands out the most to me. It seems to be working fine so far because I've grown this channel to over 75,000 subscribers by using this specific technique. I'm giving away all my secrets now. Last one, 10 advanced search. Another thing the pros use that you may not know is the advanced search functions to find unique elements and designs. When you are within the editor, you can use the plus symbol to narrow down your search results to find specific elements. So if you type in plus letter plus frame, this will come up with letter frames and you can add the font and uppercase to really narrow it down. So here are some examples of what you can search for in the search bar. So the first two are just the letter frames followed by the font type and then you can add upper or lower to find uppercase or lowercase letters. Here you can find letters in the shape of a doodle. This works using the keywords feature assigned to the elements. So you can find the keywords by clicking the three dots and then seeing what keywords are tagged to it. So these are essentially the meta tags. This is useful if you find an element you like and you want similar elements to it. Just click the keywords and find the tags and then you can search for, for it from there. You can also combine these keywords to find really specific search results. Another useful search feature is the filters button on the search bar. Click here and you can narrow down your search results by color, orientation, animation or PNGs by clicking it cut out and it will just give you a cutout version of that image. There you go, 10 secret Canva tips used by the pros. If you want a free trial to Canva Pro, click the link in the description. I highly recommend it and I've been using it for years. As always, if you found this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. I've got another video coming right up, so stay tuned for that. Another thing, People always ask me in the comments what I use to edit these videos. I'm going to show you that now. I use a software called TechSmith Camtasia. It's a screen recorder with a built-in editor. You can find a link to it in the description. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make tutorials related to video editing and I can put something together.